How's it going guys? This is Jeff Benjamin. In this video, we review the Elgato Thunderbolt 3 Pro Dock. Check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. All right, so this is the Elgato Thunderbolt 3 Pro Dock. Let's go ahead and get it unboxed here. You got two separate boxes. In the first box, you'll find the dock itself. We got the wrapper off there. And this dock has 12 different ports on it. We're gonna discuss those ports here in just a second. So with a single cable, you gain access to all that I.O. from your MacBook Pro, your iMac, whatever Thunderbolt 3 enabled computer you wanna hook it up to. And it supports USB power delivery, so it's gonna be able to recharge your MacBook Pro up to 85 watts. So 15 inch MacBook Pro owners, will be able to charge at full speed. And obviously that power brick is large and in charge, almost as big as the dock itself. But that's pretty much par for the course with these types of docks. The real cool thing though, is that you get a 0.7 meter Thunderbolt 3 cable inside the box. So it's a little bit longer than your typical cable, which is nice for placement flexibility. So like I said, you get five ports on front and seven ports on the back for a total of 12 ports in all. So that is a fair amount of ports. However, it is not as many as you'll find on other docks such as the CalDigit TS3 Plus, which is currently my favorite dock. But Elgato's dock also has some things that the CalDigit TS3 doesn't have, such as a micro SD card slot that supports UHS-2, along with the standard size slot that supports UHS-2. It also features two USB Type-C ports that support USB 3.1 Gen two for 10 gigabits per second connectivity. So that is, of course, a very nice feature to have. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the other ports and break down what's all included here. So of course we have the power input. We also have DisplayPort 1.2, supports a display up to 4K 60 Hertz. You have a pair of Thunderbolt 3 ports. This one right here is designated for your MacBook Pro. It's gonna provide the 85 watts or up to 85 watts of power delivery. This one here is available for daisy chaining and it also works with Thunderbolt 3 display. So you can connect up to a 5K display via Thunderbolt 3 like the LG Ultrafine 5K display. And like I already mentioned, there is a pair of USB Type-C ports supporting up to 10 gigabits per second because they're USB 3.1 Gen 2. There's a headphone jack and there's a gigabit ethernet port. Now there's also two USB Type-A ports, five gigabits per second. There's a microphone input. And finally, there's an SD card slot along with a micro SD card slot. Both slots support UHS-2 for faster transfer speeds when using UHS-2 media. Now, another little detail, you have four non-slip feet on the bottom of the dock to keep it nice and steady and stable on your desktop. Okay, so let's briefly discuss some of my favorite features about this dock, starting with UHS-2 support that we already mentioned. Here is a UHS-2 enabled SD card with that extra set of pins to allow for even faster transfer speeds in both read and write. And as you'll see from our Blackmagic disk speed test, the performance is really good for an SD card. That's gonna make all the difference when transferring a large 4K media shot on an A7 III, for instance, back to your Mac. Now, I also wanted to test out Thunderbolt 3 performance using the Samsung X5 SSD. And as you can see, Thunderbolt 3 performance is really good. Uh, not as great as it would be if directly connected to the MacBook Air, but still really good although you will get a little bit better write speed in particular when directly connected. I also tested out power delivery and as expected for this MacBook Air, you get 60 watts of power. This dock is capable of charging a 15 inch MacBook Pro at full speed, providing up to 85 watts of power. Now, as you can see, I have lots and lots of stuff connected here. Basically every port is occupied except for the microphone. And that's only because I don't have a microphone readily available. But what's cool is that I'm able to connect to all those devices via a single Thunderbolt 3 cable, still maintain good performance. You can see all the mounted drives there, but that poses an issue, right? Am I gonna to have to manually unmount each of these drives before unplugging the dock? No, you can use Elgato's free utility to dismount all the connected drives with a single click, just like this. So it goes through, dismounts them all, and then you'll see it's safe to unplug and you simply unplug like that with no error messages. 
So the conclusion is this, the Elgato dock is a good dock. It allows you to connect to multiple 4K displays, a single 5K display. It also has decent build quality, although the CalDigit TS3 Plus has much better build quality and more flexibility as far as placement is concerned. It can be oriented vertically or horizontally here. You have an additional three USB type A ports on the Elgato dock along with optical audio. So that's something to keep in mind. However, you don't have the extra USB type C 3.1 Gen 2 port, and you also don't have micro SD either. So take that into account. The Elgato Thunderbolt 3 Pro dock is a good dock. It doesn't do anything particularly special, but it is a very solid product that I think will make most users happy, but it is pricey at $350. So you'll also have to take that into account as well. What do you guys think? What's your favorite Thunderbolt 3 dock? Let me know down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.